What's going on, guys? About to get ready and do the um, oil change on my 2003 Chevy Tahoe. Um, <clears throat> on this vehicle, on all my vehicles now, I changed the oil. Well, these two vehicles that I got, got it goes off. I mean, it have a light on there. I usually do it when the light go off, which is around like 5,000, a little bit past 5,000 miles. I don't do it every 3,000 miles. That's senseless, especially when the vehicle's not burning oil like, like that. So, and this is what I use. I, I use, I also use Lucas too, but when I can't find this, but this is my, this is my go-to. I add a quarter of this, uh, with my oil. I mean, with that, you're able to get you, I done had vehicles that I done sold at like especially Saturns at like three hundred and eighty some thousand to four hundred thousand miles, and I always had used this and then Lucas on it, and um and also Marvel Mystery Oil I use that as well and that's and long as I I keep my fluids changed I change my transmission fluid once a year, you know, and I know that's probably ex excessive but. I just, that just me, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people that got their vehicles up to 300,000 miles just by, you know, uh, changing the oil with no additives, but this the way I do it. And if it works for you, why change it? And it plus just give you a little peace of mind. And if you don't mind spending the extra money for a little bit of protection, then why not? So we're going to get into this video. I'm going to be doing a quick oil change and how I do my vehicles is I get the begin the twenty thousand uh mile filters and I get four ore changes out of that and I've been doing that for a long time. I have no problems with doing that. I know some people say, Well, ah, well they land them filters don't last twenty thousand, you need to change it anyway and and like I said, I don't go by what people say, I don't go by what a company said. The company said, Oh, you can do this and that. I tested for myself. It works for me, so that's why I did it. I know people people say that, you know, ah, oh, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that. But then you get your car up to 400,000 miles, and people look like, oh, wow, yeah, I do it. You won't know till you do it. It's trial and error. It's, it's not, you can't, a lot of times you can't go off what people say. You know, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the doing, not in the saying. So... Yeah, there you have it. Let me get into this oil change. It's going to be a quick one because really all I have to do is, is, is drain and, and fill it. And before I, I, I do that, I usually um, um, put a quart of Marvel Mystery Oil in there and drive it for maybe 100 miles and then drain it. But I don't do that often. I just do that probably like twice a year just to get the sludge out because I do be going over 5,000 miles with it. And then put that in there, drain it, drive it 200 miles. You no, know, just drain it out. And then I fill it up with this stuff. And then I have no engine tick, rod knock, no smoking out the tail, excessive smoking out the tail. I have none of that because my regimen that I normally do. So without further ado, let me get into this video and, and quit wasting time talking so I can drain this oil. And I'm going to show you guys. How to take the where the filter located at, how to take it off. I usually hand tighten up my stuff so that way I can get it back off and it's easy, it's not over tightened. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and then we can get into it. It's gonna be a quick video, quick, simple, and plain. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Uh it's real simple. Let me see if I can get up under here. There's the oil filter. Uh, I don't know if I can see it. it kind of leaking a little bit of oil, but it's the nut, which is a 14 millimeter. Which is a 14 millimeter. And I'm gonna uh, take that off. So, Take this off. You need a um actually I have the uh the 20,000 mile oil filter, so I'm not gonna touch the filter. So I'm just gonna drain the oil and uh refill it. 
because I got the filter, you know, to save money between oil changes, and I only put 5,000 miles on that filter, so I'm going to change that. And when I've been changing my oil, I've been checking. I haven't been no noticing any, like, metal flakes or shavings, and I pretty much keep it topped off, so I'm not too much worried about that. So let me go ahead and take this off with this 14 millimeter, and then um, drain the oil into the pan. All right. Yeah, guys, I just want to show y'all, if y'all had to um, ever take that oil filter off and it's stuck, you lose it, I take it out by hand, and I hand tighten it so I would be able to take it back off. Um, you can use this right here. Let me see. Take it back there. You can use one of these right here. I don't know the name of this or the part number. I just know I had it for a while because I use it on the Saturn too. The ones that's hard to get to, you just put just open this up, put this on there, and then you stick the um, the ratchet in there, and then you when you turn it, just tighten onto the uh, oil filter and take it out so you can just hook that up. I don't know what it's called. It's called the oil filter spinny thingy or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let me take let me take this off. And guys, I don't. I, I think I said um, this was a 14 millimeter. I meant to say 15 millimeter. I don't know why I said 14, but it's a it's a 15. So yeah, let me put this uh, down so I can get up under here more. And uh, let me see. I might be able to get this. Up. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna need to put a uh, put some little muscle into it, guys. So I'm gonna have to uh, drop this camera for a second. All right, guys. I got it. I don't know if you can see it because I'm upside down down here. It is draining. I don't know if it's focusing it in. Uh, maybe dirt or some on the lens but let me I'm gonna stop it here and then I'm gonna go get this oil all right look kind of red I know like red is black but because I, I put some uh Marvel mystery oil in it but all right, let me um, stop this video. I think I think it's some on the camera. Let me try to wipe this lens. All right, guys. Um, now, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure you guys know how to pour the oil. I mean, simple. But usually, when I do it, if I use like the Lucas, or if you use Lucas, or you use whatever um, additive you use, especially if it's a little thicker, I usually add that first. And that's being cold. What I usually do is like microwave some water, or you just run some water out the faucet and let that sit. So that way, when you get ready to pour, it'll pour. Um, It'll uh it'll pour it'll come out fast and say so you won't be out there all day trying to pull the thick stuff. So that's about does it. Um end of this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for future videos so you don't miss them. And um that's about it. I'm out. Later. Alright guys, I just want to show y'all how to um turn the uh the oil change light off. You want to get in the car, turn the key forward, don't start it. You want to press the gas pedal three times. One, two, three. And see how it say change engine oil? Oil life reset. And that's it. 
either turn the key off or start it up. That's it. Or life reset. Yep. See, that's all to it. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.